Welcome back to another episode of this. Uh, is a lucky girl that stands next to the cops we are going to talk to because they are happy together. Oh yeah. But before we do all of that, we um, buy the last two cans from this vending machine that we for some reason cannot pick up. Uh, they are frozen in time and space. But this one, that's also empty. Anyway, let's talk to them. They were uh, previously knocking on that door. Guess there was some friend of them. Someone lose their mind again. Uh, anyway, what's hey, going what's on? What's going on? I live right upstairs. So keep on living. Stop minding other people's biz. And Des, hold on. It's his neighbor. Well, everyone in here is his neighbor, but okay. Is there anything I can do? Huh. Is there anything I can do? Maybe. You know Barry at all? More or less. I struck up a convo once or twice. A convo He's a is friend a guy. From Left the force not long ago. He broke down after his best friend died. We're worried he'll do something stupid. Hmm. Relax, Patrol. Barry's got nerves of steel. He's just a spiteful old bastard. Mendez! Could you check on him when he's chilled down? Sure thing. Sure, why not? It's not like we're miles apart. Thanks. Just be patient. Cops falling in rough times can be touchy let's see what i can do hmm Alrighty, righty let's talk to barry can we uh, uh, get any other info i from am him? the law got it uh-huh they did a 180 turn after you just knock oh, come on knock knock barry hey, barry everything all right in there i'll take this as a yes i'm gonna take that as a yes uh, try again later. Yeah. Try talking to Barry in a few hours. In a few! Okay. And this is where our trusty skip time function comes in. Let's skip one hour and see what happens. They still say in a few hours. Okay. Let's, uh, skip another one. And we skip two hours. Okay. Well, what? Oh, no! Whoa, where did they go? Okay, so cops can disappear too. What happens if you skip uh, uh, do those? The vending machines do not reset, strangely enough. Mm, so maybe I have to stand a little further away for this uh, Barry character to... Uh... Yeah, now I can talk to him again. So let's see. Try number two. Barry, am I remembering that right? Who is it? It's a me. me. Your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? Talked about Prem rides. Back then you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. Oh no. I said it was for flash posers. No, 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 no. You don't forget a gunk thing like that. You gave me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. I remember. I am so not going to you sell want? you this car. Uh, people have to get used to loss. Ah, strength, of course. Just want to talk. Stay strong. Uh, yeah, the just want to talk thing is just a bit iffy. But let's go just with this one. Talk, that's all. I know it's what you need right now, even if you don't want to admit it. I can't turn back time for you, but I can sit next to you and listen. Remind you that you're not in this alone. Now, hold on a sec. We barely know each other. And exactly. You just rock up here talking to me about my problems. Exactly. Did you get the idea something with me was up? You watching me? Someone send you? Well, everything in here is a bit littered, you know. Uh, yeah, your friends asked me to drop by. You should get out there, live a little. Nah, the friends. All right, you got me. Your friends asked me to drop in on you, so I thought, hey, why not? He's a stand-up guy. Who cares if he has shitty taste when it comes to street shredders? <laughs> Come back just to get your ass kicked. Man, you really know how to cheer a guy up. Maybe those two assets really are worried about me. Does he have stuff in there? Alright, come on in. Wanna talk, so let's talk. Hey. Uh Steal all the stuff that he has still left. Wait, what? Where'd she go? Come from? 
What on earth? Dude, your apartment is possessed by ghosts. So, let's see. What do we have on the page? We got some fire. Uh, okay, so there is something really emotional happening here. Anyway, report number, whatever. On... Oh, what's that? On um, the 12th March, whatever, 2076, the remains of one Rudolf Franz were found in a dumpster on Santa Maria Street. Uh, the victim had been conducting an independent media investigation into the black market for drama team patients. Data... Huh. Trauma team patient data. The body was found with multiple stab wounds in the back. Status investigation is continued by order of NCPD chief of police. Notes are blank. Next uh, report. Between the days of uh, whatever, 2077 uh, and yeah, the first one. No, the first is the month and the second is the day. Uh, it's, oh, why is it month, day, year? Why it makes absolutely no sense. There's no progression in there. It's like bleh. more than a dozen individuals from the ages of five and thirteen were killed in our royal district. All victims showed signs of severe radiation sickness, most likely due to playing with unmarked radioactive waste from the nearby power plant. An inquest uh, has been opened into corporate negligence on that part of Petrochem. Status inquest discontinued by order of NCPD chief. Ooh. Wait a minute. Victim had been conducting an independent media investigation into the black market for trauma. Okay, black market for trauma team, so higher up stuff. Then you have Petrochem, also discontinued. Uh, and then you have from the night of uh, the uh, February 21st, 2077, until the morning of 2nd. <laughs> oh, absolutely hideous way of doing. The date. Three Valentinas gang members suspected of murdering the journalist Rudolf Franz, see case from before, escaped from cell D14 for unspecified reasons. All prison guards, due to the uh, present at the scene, had been requested to repeat, report to NCPD Chief of Police. Status investigation discontinued by NCPD Chief of Police. Notes. Barry Lewis, stop digging through old cases. It's for your own good. Ooh. Okay. So what happened? Beer. Yeah. Barry, what the hell are you babbling about? Pull yourself together, chump. A guy gotta be tough, especially in this goddamn city. I don't know what kind of telenovelas you've been watching, but this sad sank bullshit ends now. You and I are going for a beer. How's this Thursday? Thursday. Hey, Barry, just wanted to check in and see if everything's okay. The way you just quit all of a sudden, was that because of Andrew? I'm sure he was a great guy and all, but life goes on. There are lots of good people out there who's going to protect them if hardworking blues like you go quitting the force. Nadia. Barry. How come you are not answering? You don't talk to anyone, you don't go out, you can't blame a person for thinking the worst. You're still worried about that, you know, stuff. Don't you think you're overreacting just a teeny bit? And the next one. I don't want to talk to any of you. Tell Mendes to stop trying to call me. Yep. So, now, what is it uh, say? I say? I ask someone to... Ah, come on, it's not about losing someone, it's about the, the, some being some... There's something going on there. I lost someone close to me, too. A damn good friend. What do you mean, too? Wait. It's about Andrew. I, uh... I told you about him. Actually, they were not that talkative. Best bud I ever had. Known him my whole life. Only person I could spill to without being judged. Hmm. Huh, NCPD hasn't improved, has it? I'm guessing things at the NCPD haven't changed a lick, huh? One time, a Maelstrom ganger killed a young kid right in front of my eyes. For shits and giggles. I couldn't do shit. The son of a bitch had corporal protection. <sighs> Typical. Our chief greases his palms with an anonymous donation. And guess what? Officially, kid blew his own brains out. 
right mm. in front of your eyes. Something died in me then. I couldn't do it anymore. I was... A few months later, Andrew passed, and everything went to shit. That is so understandable, but we could try to make it better. Eh? Just give me the info and we fix it. So, what about your friends on the force? You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? And Petrova's a decent gal, but she's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy genes. Well, you told him about Andrew. Honestly, thought about it a lot. Anyway, they don't know everything. Better that way. Actually, it's not. So, how'd Andrew die? Can you tell me how Andrew died? Doesn't matter. Normally, from old age. It's no wonder, seeing as he was only a few years younger than my grandma. Mm. Nine of old age? In Night City? That merits a monument. Whole world should gaze up at it in awe. <laughs> Ash blocks in the niche will have to do. Uh, so Andrew was like a grandpa then? So then Andrew is more like a grandpa to you than a friend? <laughs> we can go that far. He was like a... I don't know. A window into the past or something. He reminded me of my gram-grams. About our little talks. Time when everything had its proper place. You know? He was the last living record of those times. So, yeah, people die, you move on. Nah. Everyone's got their limits still. Mendez doesn't know shit about life. Everyone's got their limits, even him. He just hasn't reached them. Not like you. What if he's right, though? Maybe my genes are soft. Don't only the strongest survive. No, he felt the most nothing, adapted. That means his loss wouldn't have had any meaning. I guess so. Thanks for the talk, V. I am. Um, I need time to take all this in. Hmm. Sure thing. Take care. So, if Andrew, Andrew niches before talking to the cops. Okay, Andrew's niche, Andrew's niche, Andrew's niche. Is there anything on here that could uh, point me towards it? No. Andrew's niche, 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 niche. Wait, what? It's right around the corner. Come on. Or is it somewhere else? No. This one is the cops. This one is some strange. Yeah, it's right there. Fool on the hill thing again. Okay. So where is the? Uh, this is where they are. Let's ignore them. Thank goodness we have a quick travel location here. Haha. <laughs> uh, so let's go back to the cemetery again. It's really strange. Like twice in a row, back to the cemetery. One uh, from a quest, like a uh, NCPD scanner hustle, the other one also from a NCPD mission. Strange. Twice NCPD related. But this time a day. Whoop. So, Andrew, 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 Andrew. What's this? I ah, know, this is one of those again. Andrew, Andrew, Andrew. I am looking for, is it this one? No. Some Russell dude. I'm looking for Andrew. What's this? Caroline uh, Joblonski. Your spirit lives on in her heart there. Standard stuff. Why can't it be sorted? A bloody name. There we go. That could be it. Loving memory of my best friend Andrew. There we go. You are a tortoise, but you will listen like a person. You were with me when Grammy explained what was right. You were uh, uh, are the last memory of a better world. Rest in peace. She had better needs help. Hmm. 
Barry's not okay. I mean, if that tortoise was the one thing that got him up in the morning. No, you're starting to get it. His friends have to know. Hopefully it's not too late. You know how it goes. Stare too long into the abyss, the abyss will stare right back at you. Taking a step into it wouldn't be so drastic, considering the shit he's seen in his lifetime. Hmm. It's kind of strange that talking to Johnny was a optional task. <laughs> but he just appeared right next to you. Uh, okay, so back and talk to the cops. Shoop deep do we do. Hmm. I would have thought that I kinda got through to him. At least. Uh yeah, it's really difficult to say that. Come on. Yeah, down there. All right, definitely needs to get. It's you. You talked to Barry. He finally decided to get his shit together. Uh, cry out loud, Mendez. Okay, what did Barry tell you about his dead friend? Hey, so what did Barry tell you exactly about that friend he lost? Not much. Hardly ever spoke about him. Said once he was the only one who could understand him. It's nice to have someone like that. Hmm. Uh, okay, I visited Andrew's grave and Barry's depressed. Okay, I'm not going to get into this, but I'm going to say on, uh, something about the uh, Andrew in grave thing. Shape. So much so, in fact, that he preferred to talk to a tortoise instead of you two. That's supposed to be funny. The complete opposite. It's sad as hell. Barry didn't handle Bad's life too well. He made fun of him, so he stopped sharing things. And apart from you guys, all he had was a tortoise, his best friend, a memento of his grandma. Until he died, that is. Fuck. I don't fucking believe this. You're bullshitting me. Yeah, right, because I like to bullshit badges. <laughs> right, because I like to bullshit badges in my spare time. Why would he lie to us, though? He talked about that tortoise like it was a normal person. Mm -hmm. I just think Mendez had reacted. Barry admitted that he was talking to animals. Jesus, Barry. I thought he was being a drama queen, that he'd get over it. I gotta go and talk to him. About time. Thanks for your help. This is for your trouble. Hey, now how much is it? Okay, a thousand. That's decent, but nah. An interesting drama quest. One of the few that are really pulling you into this game. And they also make those NCPD people a bit more human-like. And now they're back at... yeah... knocking. They're not even calling him. Check on Barry. Wait, wait a minute! Oh no, please don't. I told you. You ain't got a warrant, you ain't coming in. Oh, thank goodness Damn he's it, okay. Barry. Can't we just talk? Petrova told me your last case was... A real ball buster. Boss told you to keep your lips sealed, huh? Had a similar situation once, you know? Fucking child killer. Dirtbag was on the Petrochem board. So it was out of our hands. Remember it to this day. A little kid's t-shirt. Green, with this... On a yellow cat. <laughs> Get in. Ooh! There's something more to read. No, no, no! <clears throat> <laughs> no, 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 there was stuff to read in there. Come on. Bollocks. Okay, we finished the mission. I don't know what was on there, but it was probably also something tear dropping ish thing, whatever. Uh, this is another one in the afterlife. The next one is, of course, uh, back against the wall. Okay, let's see. Do we have anything next to it? The pine wood, yes. The pinewood, 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 pinewood. Like I put this 
game already on an SSD, right? <laughs> uh, unbelievable. I uh, got indicated residence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it doesn't really tell me what this is all about, isn't it? And most of this is just junk, as usual. Now, where is the. Ah! It's in this building. Ah, oh, nice. I just love those huge buildings. Only problem about this is kind of cramped, right? And the only way from one building to the next, most of the time, is just going down the elevator, across the street, and going up the elevator instead of just going straight across. That's too far distant. Are there... Whoa. Hold down vending machines. There we go. They, cop they just copy and paste it, that stuff. Lazy, lazy, lazy. Like this one here. See that? The same order. Da, da, da. Uh, one, two, three. Fell down. One, two, three. Uh, actually, one, two, three. The fourth one fell down. No? Okay, it's, this, it's not the same order. Wait a minute. These three are always in the same order, right? Yeah. But that one is special. Definitely special. Alright. And before we go into the broken house... <laughs> we're going to end this episode and continue with this, of course, in the other time. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Ta-da. Oh, beautiful.